When you think of the zoo, majestic animals like the tiger, elephant, or lion probably come to mind. Or maybe you think of fluffy animals like koalas, panda bears, or the sloth. Well, today we're thinking a little bit differently because right here, right now, it's all about bugs, bugs, bugs. And we're not talking about any old bug off the street. This is the Lord Howe Island stick insect. It's sort of a who's who in the bug world. As far as insects go, it's a, it's a very big celebrity. It has such an unlikely story. It's been through a century of struggle to survive, clinging to a volcanic rock in the middle of the ocean. This epic tale of determination and grit begins at Lord Howe Island, which sits about 370 miles off the coast of Australia. These insects lived here peacefully until 1918, when a ship crashed into the island, releasing rats on the land. A couple of years later, there were no more Lord Howe Island insects left on the very island they were named after. But not to despair, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And that's what they did. A few of these creatures somehow found their way to a tiny pile of rocks not far from Lord Howe Island. Lord Howe Island stick insects were rediscovered on Ball's Pyramid, which is a tiny volcanic outcropping of rock, also off the coast of Australia. And this was in 2001 when they were seen again for the first time. And that's where they were for the 80 years that people thought that they were gone, is they were living on this basically rock that is jetting out of the ocean, typically not a place where you would find stick insects. Uh, so that's one of the other reasons the story is so incredible that they've obviously been managing to survive on this place for a long, long time. Wow, what a bunch of little troopers. But how did they get to San Diego Zoo? Well, I recently returned from Melbourne, Australia, where I visited the Melbourne Zoo, and I returned on the return flight with 300 eggs of the critically endangered Lord Howe Island stick insect, which was a pretty precious cargo. When the stick insects hatch, they're bright green. As they grew, they started to take on more of the brownish, dark brown coloration. From the initial group of eggs that we brought back from the Melbourne Zoo in Australia, we have 69 adults, and it's about an even spread between males and females. So we're really excited to be getting eggs at this point. So, with any luck, we should be seeing some new stick bug babies here at the San Diego Zoo pretty soon. And that's the whole point, to see the overall population of these critters grow. And maybe in the future, they'll get to go back to the island they were named after. Everyone working on this project hopes that the Lord Howe Island stick insect will be released to its ancestral home after more than a century. These impressive bugs have a history of defying the odds, and I think that they have a pretty good shot at making it back home.